Hi, everybody. This is God Sad for the Sad Truth. Back in 1993, uh, I was in my last year at a PhD. I had gotten my MS the summer before, and I was out on the job market, and uh, I had been invited to interview with many leading universities, and then for second round interviews, those are called campus visits, one of which was at Harvard Business School. And uh, you can't imagine the opulence back then. This is 30 years ago. Uh, I heard from various sources that I did not end up getting the job because I don't ovulate. Uh, but in any case, uh, I did not end up getting the job. And at the time, I was very, very disappointed because, you know, of course, there's great glitz and glamour to Harvard Business School uh, professorship. Uh, it was high paying. The offices were beautiful. I think at the time, the endowment, if I'm not mistaken, of the Harvard Business School 30 years ago was a billion dollars. I mean, it's absolutely unbelievable. But maybe now in retrospect, I don't, uh, I shouldn't uh, feel bad that I didn't get the job because as we know, Harvard University, uh, as is true of many of the elite universities, has been completely parasitized by every idea pathogen that I discuss in the uh, parasitic mind. And as you know, Claudine Gay, the uh, current president of Harvard, had to go through several iterations of, uh, you know, press releases, statement releases, uh, because each time she put out something, there was outrage, uh, and then she would kind of equivocate, because it's very, very difficult and nuanced to uh, come out clearly when it comes to a position of, say, killing babies. Uh, so in the spirit of that, I thought that I would uh, share, uh, I'm going to say here satirical, but I I think it's uh, it captures pretty much reality. So here is four statements that I suspect might be forthcoming from President Claudine Gay, who really seems to have her moral compass uh, well entrenched in her backbone. So Claudine Gay, statement one, I condemn the attack that those Zionist babies committed on the peaceful bullets and knives of the noble Palestinian freedom fighters. That was the first statement. It's wrong. Those, those babies' bodies attacked the knives and attacked the bullets, the, the peaceful bullets. Then there is massive outrage. Some rich people said, hey, we're going to remove our money. So then she says, okay, no, no, no. That was the wrong message. I'm coming up with a new message. Here we go. You ready? Here's the new message. I believe that both peaceful Hamas and the Zionist colonizing babies are to blame for this tragedy. Remember, those children will one day become Zionist soldiers. So see there, she was a lot more nuanced. Right, I mean both. You got the, both the babies and the Hamas. There, there's enough blame to go around for everyone. Then there was outrage. So now President Claudine Gay, one of the luminaries in academia, has to come out with a third statement. You ready? So this is Claudine Gay, third attempt. It was wrong for Hamas to kill the Zionist babies without first offering them a chance to convert away from the Zionist faith. So she recognizes now that, you know, there is something that is wrong about how Hamas went about implementing its otherwise peaceful incursion into the Zionist territories. And then there's a lot more outrage. I think Bill Ackman, the, you know, the Zionist, Jewish hedge fund fund guy is starting to get upset. He's starting to rally up his billionaire friends. So now Claudine Gay comes out with the final definitive statement. So this is Claudine Gay. Yeah, it's wrong, I guess, to kill defenseless, defenseless babies. But remember, occupation. This may seem as though it's a satirical account, but... Poignant satire is poignant because it captures something. Have a good day, everybody. Well done, President of Harvard, Claudine Gay.